In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to customize your WooCommerce cart and checkout pages. We're also using a Neve starter site called Print Shop. To begin, let's click on the customize link at the top. And from this menu, let's click on WooCommerce. Okay, so let's begin with the checkout page. The first customization tab we have is checkout style. And we can select from any of these options at the bottom. We have standard, vertical, and stepped. So here's what the standard layout looks like. And you'll be able to see a preview of your changes on this side. The next option we have is boxed style. If we turn it on, we will see a gray box around the information on the page. Turning on boxed style unlocks a padding option. So you can add some space on the inside of your columns by adjusting these options. You can also click on this arrow on the right to reset your settings. You can also make your adjustments across tablet and mobile. Now let's switch back to desktop. Okay. Our next option is page background color. It's set to white by default. You can select any color, but I'll just leave it as white for now. Next, we have box background color, which is set to a light gray by default. Let's leave it. Now the vertical layout should unlock one more option. So here it is, it's box width. This option lets you adjust the width of your box by moving this slider, or you can also type in a specific value into the field next to the slider. Now let's take a look at the stepped layout. Enabling this layout adds three more options that correspond to the step labels. They're right here at the top of the page. If you ever need to change your label, you can simply type in your text into this field. So for example, I'm changing this from proceed to review to proceed to order review. So this is how our stepped layout looks. Let's go ahead and switch back to the default one, which is standard. Okay, so let's move down to the general tab. It's right here. The first option under general is company name field. Right now it's set to optional, but let's access this drop down menu to select hidden. Okay. Right now address line two is also visible. We want to hide this field as well. So let's click on the drop down menu and select hidden. The next option we have here is phone field, which is required by default. We can go ahead and view it on the page as well. It's right here. Let's leave it on. And the next option lets us highlight required fields with an asterisk. Here's an example on the phone field. So we are going to leave this on. Let's move to the next option. This option lets us enable a fixed order box. This is the order box right here. And as we scroll up and down the page, it moves as well. So if we enable this option, it will be fixed to one position when scrolling, sort of like a sticky header. Let's move down to the next option. This one will let us use labels as placeholders. If we look on the preview right now, we can see the labels above each field. Let's go ahead and turn this option on. So you'll notice that once we turn this on, we will be placing the labels inside of the fields as placeholders. By default, we also have an additional information section, which has a field to add a note. So for example, we can say something like, please add gift wrap. Okay. And if you don't need this option, you can just go ahead and turn it off on the left hand side right here. And if you decide to show coupons in your store, you can go ahead and leave this show coupon option on. Next, we have our legal information. First, we have our privacy policy. Here we have a brief summary. And if we access the drop down menu on the left, we can select the actual privacy policy page. And the summary on the checkout page also includes a link to the policy. You can find it right here. Next, we have the terms and conditions page. You can also access this drop down menu to select your page from the list. For this demonstration, let's pretend our sample page is our terms and conditions page since we don't have one. Let's select it. So now here's our little terms and conditions notice at the bottom. Now you can also edit your privacy policy notice or summary using this field. As an example, I'll just remove the first word. So you can always add your own text using this field. And at the bottom, we have the terms and conditions notice that we can also edit using this field. Okay, so we're done customizing the checkout page. Once you're happy with all of your changes, click on the publish button at the top of the page. Now we are going to be customizing the shopping cart page. So once you're in the WooCommerce settings, click on the cart page link. Okay. So by default, our cart page has the normal layout. And if we take a look on the right hand side, we can see the items in our shopping cart and we have the order totals box at the bottom as well. Now let's move back to the left hand side to enable show cross sell products. If we take a look at the bottom of this page, we should see a few cross sell products. These products are linked to one or more items in our shopping cart. 
The next option will let us enable payment icons in the cart total section. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Okay, so our payment icons are now being displayed. To edit your icons, you can go to the customizer and click on this link or this edit button. Our settings have opened up on the left hand side. If you want to enable or disable a specific payment icon, you can click on the eye icon next to its option. And you should see your changes in the live preview. And you can also change the order of your icons using this list by clicking and dragging them to your desired position. You can also see this change in the live preview. And we also have a payment icons widget in the footer. And these settings are also affecting it. So that is something you can keep in mind. Let's go back to our cart page options. And this time we are going to choose the side by side layout. Okay, this layout has the same options as normal except one extra option which is enable fixed total box. The total box is now being shown on the right hand side of the cart page. But currently if we scroll down it gets hidden. To avoid this, let's turn this option on. Now as we scroll, this total box sticks to the right hand side of the page. So let's keep this layout. And if you are happy with your settings, you can go ahead and click on publish. So this is our shopping cart with all of the options that we just configured including the cross sell products and the sticky total box. And this is our checkout page. So thank you so much for watching. Hope this helps.